Hello everyone, my name is Saksham Kandilwa. I am a third year computer science engineering student at Bennett University. So today I will present my topic which is Li-Fi technology. So these are the contents that I will go through in the upcoming slides in detail. What is Li-Fi? What is history of Li-Fi? How to implement Li-Fi? How it works? Then we will see the comparison between Li-Fi and Wi-Fi. Then we see its applications, its advantages, disadvantages. And then we will see uh, conclusion and who are the key players that are making these technology. And at last we will see the references. So first of all, the main thing that comes to our mind is what is Li-Fi? So Li-Fi stands for Light Fidelity. It transmits data through illumination. It uses light in place of radio waves to transmit information. It is capable of transmitting data at higher speeds over the visible light, ultraviolet and radio spectrums or infrared spectrums. Now let's see history of Li-Fi. The technology truly began during the year 1990s in the countries like Germany, Korea and Japan where they discovered that LEDs could be retrofitted to send information. Professor Harald Hess from University of Edinburgh coined the term Li-Fi at his 2011 TED Global Talk. He introduced the idea of wireless data from every light. The present scenario is radio spectrum is congested but the demand for wireless data double each year. Everything it seems want to use wireless data but capacity is drying up. Now we see implementation of Li-Fi. Li-Fi is implemented using these four primary sub-assemblies. First is bulb, second is RF power amplifier circuit, third is printed circuit board or PCB and fourth is enclosure. You can understand in advance uh, from the given figure itself. In bulb assembly, a sealed bulb is embedded in a dielectric material. It is used as an electric field concentrator that focuses energy. In the bulb, the energy from EF rapidly heats the material in the bulb to a plasma state that emits light of high intensity and full spectrum. An RF radio frequency signal is generated by the solid state PA and is guided into electric field. About the bulb, uh, the high concentration of energy in the electric field vaporizes the contents of the bulb to a plasma state at the bulb center. This controlled plasma generates an intense source of light. All of these sub-assemblies are contained in an aluminium enclosure. The PCB controls the electrical inputs and outputs of the lamp and houses the microcontroller used to manage different lamp functions. Let's see how Li-Fi works. Operational procedure is very simple. If the LED is on, you transmit a digit 1. If it's off, you transmit a digit zero. The LEDs can be switched on and off quickly, which gives nice opportunities for transmitting data. Hence, all of that is required is some LEDs and a controller that code data into those LEDs. We have to just vary the rate at which the LEDs flicker depending upon the data we want to encode. Thus, every light sources will uh, work as a hub for data transmission. Now let's see how Li-Fi is better than Wi-Fi by comparing both of them. As you can see in the table, speed of Li-Fi is greater than 1 Gbps, which is far greater than the speed of Wi-Fi, which is only 150 Mbps. Next is medium. Li-Fi as previously discussed uses uh, light as a carrier and Wi-Fi uses radio spectrum. Next is spectrum range. Uh, spectrum range of visible lights are far better than radio frequency. Next is cost. Li-Fi is cheaper than Wi-Fi as we only need four main parts. Wi-Fi is costlier as compared to Li-Fi. Next is network topology. They both are point to point. 
and the last is operating frequency li-fi has frequency of hundreds of terahertz whereas wi-fi has only 2.4 gigahertz nowadays 5 gigahertz are also used other comparisons are like uh, privacy light is blocked by the walls hence provide more secure data transfer walls cannot block radio waves so we need to employ more techniques to achieve secure data transfer let's see where we can use li-fi technology in tra traffic signals li-fi can be used which will communicate with the red lights of the car and uh, sorry led lights of the car and the number of accidents can be decreased in modern medical instruments uh, and in petroleum or chemical plants where other transmission or frequency can be hazardous in aircrafts it can be used for radio for data transmission in underwater communication radio waves are quickly absorbed in water preventing underwater radio communication but light can penetrate for larger distances therefore li-fi can enable communication from diver to diver diver to mini sub or diver to drilling rig etc in uh, location based services like gps and augmented reality exhibits in museums and galleries are illuminated with a specific lighting li-fi enabled lighting can provide localized information within that light this means that a visitor's camera or mobile phone can be used to download further information regarding the object being viewed from the light that illuminates the exhibit everything in the world has its own advantages and disadvantages so first of all let's see the advantages of life larger bandwidth as we saw earlier it has a bandwidth of hundreds of terahertz high efficiency more availability high security no license needed and the main point is thousands or millions of street lamps can be converted to li-fi spots enhanced wireless infrastructure by providing an addition additional layer of small cells the avoidance of the radio frequency spectrum crunch 10000 times more capacity enabling very high peak data rates like 10 gbps the enabling of the internet of things 100 times more devices and significantly enhanced secure wireless communication enhanced energy efficiency by combining data communication and illumination complete elimination of health concerns now let's see the disadvantages of li-fi li-fi doesn't work in the dark this is the main disadvantages of using li-fi next is li-fi cannot pass through the objects high installation cost of the vlc system a major challenge facing li-fi is uh, how the receiving device will transmit back to transmitter Li-Fi has a big drawback compared to Wi-Fi. Unlike Wi-Fi, we cannot move to other rooms unless they are wired bulbs too. Let's see what we have learned about Li-Fi technology. First is it overcomes the limitations of radio spectrum. High speed of 10 Gbps can be achieved using Li-Fi. The possibilities are numerous and can be explored further. by using li-fi we will proceed toward the cleaner greener safer and brighter future and li-fi is enabled by advanced digital transmission technologies this may solve issues such as the shortage of radio frequency bandwidth here are some key players or we can say patented patented companies in the field of li-fi technologies like panasonic pure li-fi oled com signify oppo and many other big companies that you can see in the graph so lastly here are some references for you if you want to know more about li-fi technologies you can check these links so thank you for watching and listening my presentation hope you enjoyed and learned something have a nice day